integral. Let us pick few numbers uh, whose squares is squares we will consider whose units place has numbers 1. So, 1 square we can take. I will just round it off for you to avoid confusion. Next in 9 again I have 4, 9, 6, 5, 6, 9, 4. Again I have 1 here where in 9 square 81. So, 1 in the units place. So, 1 square we read. Next to 9 square only we have 81 children. Again, yes, of course, in 11 square also we have 1 in the units place, 121. Again, 4 is the 9 is the 6 is the 5 is the 6 is the 9 is the 4 is the Again, 1 we have. Where? 361, which is 19 square. Again, 200 we cannot take. Why it is? Uh, what? 400 square. I will clean this for now. What we observe is 1 square is 1. Correct. Next to 9 square is 81. Next to 11 square is 121. Which all I rounded off now. That I am writing. Similarly, 19 square is 361. That is what we got. I will draw one line for you. Look. By rounding off what I selected from the square numbers children. I find it out. These numbers. The square of these numbers have 1 in their units place. 1, 9, 11 and 19. How? 1 square is 1. 9 square is 81. 1 in the units place. Similarly, 11 square is 121. 1 in the units place. 19 square is 361. 1 in the units place. So, as we concluded here, if at all the digits or the numbers have these numbers in this units place like 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 and 9. Similarly, here also, if at all, the units place of those perfect square has 1. Then those numbers will be, if at all, in this C square, so no more. In the units place, what do you have? 1 here, 9 here, 1 here, 9 here. So this is also hint children. Some big number your friend will give you a puzzle. Even you, you can ask your friend as well. You just give him many, some big number. Ending with 1919. And you Tell him to find the square of that number. So, and you can ask him with what number does the square of this number end. I can answer you in a second. So, he may be struggling how to find out by using calculator multiplying number. You simply tell that will end with 1. How? By seeing this you can say no children. You, what you observe is, if at all, either way you can tell. If at all the num squares of a number have 1 or 9 in their units place, then their square always ends with 1. Or if the uh, perfect square has 1 in the units place, then uh, the number where the number will be having either 1 or 9 in the units place. And you should understand. What did I just now say is, if at all you consider the numbers which has in the units place 1 at 1, 9, no? Yaude number, unit place of idre children, that squares what you get, that is uh, finding the square of that numbers, the square of that numbers will always be having 1 in their units place. This hence you should know. Some problem will be given in the test. You will hurry, hurry, you will be short, running shortage of time, you will solve. In the end, suppose I will ask you 19 square, suddenly you will, you will not recall what is 19 square. You will write 360. No, you will go wrong. You should know this. If you know this concept, array 19 square means 9 is in the units place. Then, 1 should, which should be end with the units, last digit 1, that is in the units place, 1 should be there. How come I wrote 360? And you should immediately verify. Like this, you should know children. So, if at all, the numbers has 1 or 9 in their units place, their perfect squares will always be having 1 in the units place. Atva, their last digit will be 1. This is one concept you will learn. I will write this for my reference now. 4 into 4, 4 square is 16. Now if we pick the numbers, as we picked here the numbers with units place 1, I will pick the numbers with in the, which are having in the units place 4 or 6. <coughs> 1, 3, 1, 2, 3 I don't want. Huh, 2 also I can consider. 2, 2, 2. Next, 
children let us consider the numbers start i mean ending with the uh, ending with the digit 6 like 16 1 2 3 i have not considered why 1 square 1 na baratha 2 square 4 baratha 3 square 9 baratha so what if when i consider 4 square units place is 16 idha similarly 5 beda 36 idha 16 idha 9 beda 4 beda 1 beda 1 beda 4 beda 9 beda i have 196 5 beda 256 i have ट Three and four numbers ala, which I missed. One thirty-six is sixteen, na? One ninety-six, two fifty-six I missed. Her. So sixteen square, sixteen square, which is two hundred and fifty-six. These are the numbers which I have considered, which are ending with the number six. I will write it neatly for you. Four square is sixteen. Six square is thirty-six. Fourteen square is one ninety-six, and sixteen square is two hundred and fifty-six. I have considered the numbers which are ending with the digit six. If at all the perfect squares are ending with number six, 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 end up by the six only under. Then see children. In the unit place, either six will be there or four will be there. So easy. Earlier, just now we studied. No, if at all, the the number the square numbers are ending with number one, then the perfect squares will be having either one or nine in the unit place. If at all, the perfect squares are ending with number six, then it will have either six or four in the unit. place these are the hints you need to keep in mind so suppose they give you some big number and ask you to uh, find which is perfect square so you should know the concept that 16 is there and that units place of 6 is there and that its square should always end with 6 unit place of 4 is there and that its square will always end with 6 this you should know children so three things we studied if at all in the units place of perfect square If you have zero, one, four, nine, and six, then they are perfect squares. They are perfect squares. And the answer. Second, what we learned is, if at all these perfect squares are ending with number one, then their squares will be having uh, what either nine or one in the units place. If the perfect squares are ending with number six. Under our number square, but it will be other. It should it will be in units place. It will be having either four or six. These things you should keep in mind. Next, what you have is the concept of triangular numbers. What is triangle numbers? Means you know what is triangle and what are numbers. When you club, what you get is triangular numbers. What are those triangular numbers? It is very simple. Let me explain it to you. Triangular numbers. To explain that, I will of course consider the um, these triangular numbers, my children. Uh, any number uh, explained in the form of figure, which can be represented in the form of triangle, are called triangular numbers. So, uh, like I will represent it with the help of stars. So, one, three. Six, ten, like that it goes. These are called the triangular numbers. Why means? See, one means one star. Three means one, two, and three. I wrote it in L shape. If I join, I will get a triangle. Now six means one, two, three, four, five, like this. So now if you join them, now what do you get? ट्रयांगल 